So I've been getting some questions about why I don't Zercher squat with a more upright torso and deeper as in a front squat because some people do correctly point out that the Zerch position allows for a very upright torso and a whole lot of depth if that's what you want to do. Now, my initial reaction not having tried it was, well, you say like a front squat, sounds like a front squat, why not just front squat and get the additional carry over to Olympic lifting? But I wanted to actually try it before expressing an opinion and having tried it, it actually does feel a whole lot like a front squat. I feel it the same way, maybe a little bit less stress on the hamstrings, possibly I could do a little bit more weight or a few more reps but it feels a whole lot like a front squat so yeah I mean if that's what you're going for why not just get the front squat and then that'll also improve your Olympic lifting more because you're actually literally doing a portion of the clean now there's like I say there's nothing to say it's wrong it felt like something you could definitely build muscle and strength off of but you know I think the zercher is a different sort of exercise the zercher is not it's a strongman squat not not so much a olympic lifting squat so why not do it in a manner that's more like what you would actually be doing in most strongman exercises i mean the zercher is basically just replicating an odd object lift with a bar you're picking something up off the ground deadlifting it putting it on your knees to reset your grip and then lifting it up to chest height so that you can actually do something useful with it that's the zercher now, I'm not going to say never, but rarely is it going to be beneficial for you to deadlift something up over your knees and then sink back down into a full ass to grass squat. That's not, it happens sometimes like with a, with something that you're having to kind of roll up you, it does happen, but it's less common. Generally, you're probably going to want to make a platform that has your legs about parallel to the ground to most optimally you know, brace your, the object, whatever it is and then reposition your grip so you can lift it up to chest height. So that's what I like to do with zerchers. I think with zerchers, parallel is actually a functional standard, not just a matter of convenience. I, you know, for the powerlifting squat, parallel is the standard because that's the really the only convenient way to say what full depth is. Uh, it'd be really hard to judge if you were trying to say, you know, what, what exactly ass to grass is, if that was going to be the standard. So it makes a whole lot of sense to just say parallel because that's the easiest way to judge, but ultimately it is arbitrary. And depending on what you're trying to do with back squats, which are more of a generalist squat, you could, you could really pick whatever depth you want. There's no functional reason why it should be one thing or the other. With zerchers, it, you know, the, the parallel thing does make sense because that's, probably going to be the best platform to readjust your grip and that's going to be the have the most carry over to any kind of odd object lifting that you might be doing and you just kind of replicate that movement the most so that you know with that in mind that's why i tend to try to hit parallel on searchers um now to that point you see a lot of people doing zerchers extremely high, especially when they first start, or especially when they're trying to, you know, hit really big numbers. People will, you know, take the bar out of the rack, uh, just somehow manage to get it to touch their thighs somewhere, maybe at a half squat, and then call that a zercher, and you know, you can say, oh my, the bar hit my thighs. Well, come on, you can, you can hit, you can hit parallel with a zercher. There's no reason not to. Now, I'm not gonna claim that every single one of my reps is 100% perfect, but you know I do think that parallel is a reasonable standard to hit. But I, I think a lot of that comes out of, a lot of that comes out of people just taking the bar out of the rack um, and just trying to you know, do what they can with it. I think if you're taking it off the ground, you, you'll see the sense of having your legs pretty much at parallel. So that, those are my thoughts on Zercher depth. Uh, I hope this helps someone and hope this clarif clarifies why I do what I do. Thanks for watching and have a good one.